All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, uh, we're going to talk about T.J. Watt being ruled out uh, for this game against the Bills. So I kind of already discussed it, um, but it was made official. Um, so, it, yeah, it's going to be tough with the uh, with him being out um, for this game against the Bills, especially because also the game's in Buffalo. And, yeah, it, it just... It's not going to be good. And also, I think this was updated, but the Steelers are 1-10 in 10 without T.J. Watt. So, yeah, the odds are kind of stacked up against them for this game. And uh, it, it, and listen, again, my, uh, my dad's a Steelers fan, so I obviously want the Steelers to win. But this is just going to be – it's going to be tough. It, it is really going to be tough. And it's unfortunate because the, T.J. Watt has never won a playoff game. Um, and uh, – you know, you would want to see him get that first playoff win. And it's probably not going to happen this year. Um, so since T.J. Watt was drafted, the Steelers' record is actually 69-33-2. And, and it's what, yeah, so it is 1-10 uh, without him. So based off, of the, based off of that, you kind of know where I'm leaning. Um, and uh, listen... The Steelers can still win this game. I still believe that, that there is a chance they can win. Um, I don't give them a great chance, but they do have somewhat of a chance because how they're going to be able to is, well, I mean, kind of what I alluded to before with Green Bay is, you know, continue to run the football against this Bills defense. Bills defense has some injuries. So it's not like the Bills have a healthy defense going into this game. Um I still think it's a, I mean, I still think it's a bad matchup for the Steelers. But if the Steelers can continue to run the football effectively, because Najee Harris has been running the football well since uh, Mason Rudolph has taken over, got to slow the game down. Because if you get into a shootout with the Bills, you're not winning. You're, you're there's no way you're winning this game. There's no chance. But there's also the on the other hand, you got a quarterback on the other side and Josh Allen that turns the ball over at least once a game. And it will definitely ha it will definitely happen in this game, because again, I mean, you go back to last year's playoff game, Skylar Thompson was the starting quarterback for the Dolphins, and the final score ended up being what was it, thirty four to thirty one. You know, and, and the, Josh Allen gave away the ball. There was that that sack fumble that led to a touchdown. Um, I think he threw he threw another interception. He, he threw an interception in the game. Um, so. Listen, the Steelers just got to capitalize. Now, I actually wanted to look. What's uh, Minka Fitzpatrick's status for the game? Um, I, I don't think I don't think he's gonna play either. But we'll see. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm seeing Sports Illustrated uh, headline: Pittsburgh Steelers optimistic about Minka Fitzpatrick return. And then I see from two days ago, Minka Fitzpatrick will return versus the Bills on Wild Card Weekend. Okay. Oh. All right. So, I mean, if you get Minka back, that's big. So at least you can get him back. Um, but I, I think that's really what it comes down to, is you gotta, you got to slow down this game somehow. Um, because, and I think the Steelers are going to have to take some risks. You know, you got to take your deep shots when you can to George Pickens. You know, get him more involved, of course, uh, which they have done, except in the Ravens game. But again, shouldn't really, you know, fault them for that because of the weather conditions that they had to play in. But um, yeah, the, I mean, the Bills again, they aren't the, the team, the same team that they have been these, uh, you know, last couple of years. Uh, I mean, they really they had to go on a run to make the playoffs, and they did. You got to give them credit. Um, but at times it wasn't pretty. I mean, you barely beat Easton Stick in the Chargers, you know. Um, and I, I think you got to thank Deontay Hardy for that, you know, uh, that punt return the other night. Because honestly, I, I don't. If that doesn't happen, I don't think the Bills win this that game. I, that changed like the whole momentum of that game. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the Steelers will get turnovers in the game against the Bills. But, you know, this is, again, this is a bad matchup for them. Um, I mean, they played each other last year and the Bills blew them out. I don't know if the same thing is going to happen, but 
Uh, and actually, I don't even think I think TJ Watt missed that game too, because I had because uh, I looked up on uh, Stat Muse, uh, you know, the games that he missed, and uh, let's see, yeah, he did miss that game against the Bills. That was when they lost thirty-eight to three. Um, yeah, it's uh, wait, who put up? Oh yeah, that was the never mind because I'm looking at another game that he missed too. Um, yeah, it's uh, oh actually the Bills. What did the Bills put up? They put up over 500 yards of offense on them last year. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, and that was with again that's without T.J. Watt. So I I mean we'll see. I mean Mason Rudolph he's been he's been doing what he's supposed to do. You know, he's fum he fumbled in the game against the, the Ravens. Well, he fumbled a few times, but they uh, they lost one. Um, but he hasn't thrown an interception yet since he's taken over. Um, so we'll see. You know, it, it's... Um, it, but again, it's going to be an uphill battle, you know, because the, the Bills, listen, they had a disappointing end to their season last year against the Bengals. Um, I thought that, would, that game was going to be great. You know, the Bengals go right down the field, and you thought, all right, here go, here come the Bills, and then it just, you know, it never really got to that point. Um, you know, the Bengals kind of just dominated the Bills at home. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Are we going to get, you know, the game that we got last year when the, the, uh, the Bills played the Steelers in the regular season, or are we going to get a game like, you know, the Bills played in the playoffs against the Dolphins, you know, with Skylar Thompson? You know, it's uh, it remains to be seen, and that game is uh, that that's the first game on Sunday. That's at one o'clock on CBS or one o'clock Eastern time on CBS. Um, so that gets us started. The second day of Super Wild Card Weekend. Uh, thankfully, all of the games will be televised. We won't have to. There's there's no streaming service we have to use. It's just on Saturday, the uh, the Peacock game. Um, so, um, but yeah, so this game will be the first game to get us started on Sunday, and we'll see, you know, but listen, I, I, I mean, I give the Steelers credit for getting here, because after the, you know, losing to the Patriots and the Cardinals, two last place teams, it just looked like they were done, but, well, then, and then they lost to the Colts after that, uh, but they, uh, they, winning these last three games... And getting in, I mean, they got a little bit of help. But they're in, so we'll see what happens. And like I said, they've been running the football well. They were running it better ever since uh, Mason Rudolph's taken over. George Pickens had two over 100-yard games. Uh, I think against the Bengals, he almost had 200 yards. Um, and again, you know, the Ravens game, not going to fault him, you know, for not, him not getting the ball. He had a carry in the game, but, you know, it's because of the weather conditions. So... Um, that's who you're gonna have to go to, you know, and, uh, and you know get Fryermuth involved, Deontay Johnson, you know these guys are gonna, these guys are gonna have to make plays, um, you know. But they uh, they have a chance. I like I said, I, I think they have a chance. But uh, if they have to get into a shootout, they they're not gonna be able to um, keep up with the Bills unless the Bills you know give them the ball, like Josh Allen turns it over. So, um, I, I, I mean, I think at this point it's like almost a lot that Josh Allen's going to turn the ball over at least one time. Um, I mean, you look at the other night, you know, it, it on that fourth and two play, he just throws it up into the end zone and it gets picked off. And again, I, I said this, you know, my friends are like, why didn't they just bat it down? You get the ball close to midfield, but they didn't do that. Um, that was basically an, an arm punt. Um, and then also there was that bad, inter the, the first interception where he, you know, him and, and uh, Gabe Davis, there was miscommunication there and, uh, that ended up getting picked off. So, um, you know, and, uh, and the Steelers, they have played the Bills, you know, um, these last couple of years, they played them in 2021. Uh, the Steelers actually won that game. Um, that was the first week of the regular season. The Steelers won that game, um, then uh, they played each other last year. Bills obviously blew them out. 
that was with uh, Kenny Pickett starting. Um, but, you know, maybe uh, with Mason Rudolph now a quarterback, maybe it'll be different. You know, well, you go back to uh, actually go back to was it 2019? Yeah, 2019 with Duck Hodges. Yeah. Oh, wait, and they actually they also played in 2020. They played in 2020 as well in Buffalo. Forgot about that. Uh, the Bills won that game. That was like a weird score. It was like I think it was like twenty six to fifteen. That score was. So yeah, they've played each other every single year since. I don't think they've played in twenty eighteen. So they played each other since twenty nineteen. With uh, different quarterbacks, you had Duck Hodges, you had uh, or Devlin Hodges is his real name, but I like to say Duck Hodges. Then you had Roethlisberger the next two years. Then you had Kenny Pickett last year. And now you got Mason Rudolph. So we'll see. We'll see with Mason Rudolph. Can Mason Rudolph get it done? Um, probably not. But we will see. And uh, like I said, I will be rooting for the Steelers. But the Bills, uh, I, I think I'm leaning towards them being my pick. Uh, and like I said, I'll do the uh, the bracket at, at the end of the week. Um and what the uh, my Super Bowl prediction is going to be, um, so uh, make sure to tune in for that because uh, we also have the uh, and we also got the baseball show on Friday as well. Um, so the Friday doubleheader going into the weekend. Um, but yeah, it's uh, but especially like when you have T.J. Watt, who I keep saying quarterback of the defense, it, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be hard because he because he could take over a game. I mean, we saw him score a touchdown in the playoffs, you know, and when the Chiefs were trying to do a trick play and it ended up – and that was a, a handoff play that got uh, that got botched. And, uh, you know, T.J. Watt ended up taking that into the end zone for the touchdown. That put the Steelers ahead against the, um, uh, against the Chiefs. And you thought, oh, maybe the Steelers are going to – no, I mean, there was – even after that, there was like – Chiefs are going to come back, and they did. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's what he could do. He could take over a game, and now when you don't have that, you know, if he was playing, I mean, even if he was playing in this game, it's still going to be an uphill battle for the Steelers to win. But at least with him there, you know, he could force a turnover on his own. You know, you sack Allen, you get a fumble, and you get in good, good field position, um, you know, and get points out of it. But... You know, now you don't have him, so, uh, you know. But um, we'll see what the Steelers have up their sleeve going into this game. So, um, but yeah, uh, T.J. Watt will not be playing. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so that's it with this uh, with this topic here. So when we come back from our final break of the show, uh, we'll talk about the updated draft order, and, um, and that'll be it. Because um, at least for the... Uh, like I said, for the top 10, uh, we'll look through that. Because um, obviously with the playoffs, you know, depending on where, you know, when teams get eliminated and who ends up winning the Super Bowl, um, you know, that's the, you know, the late um, round picks, they are, uh, that that part of the draft is not finalized yet. But we at least have who's picking number one officially, you know, and, uh, you know, at least for the top 10, um, that's uh that order at least is finalized. So that is what we'll do when we come back from our final break of the show. So stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC football podcast. <laughs> 